as you saw, it has no problem running three individual um, LED lights, and they're not even warm. Uh, but these are heat sinks. They're supposed, you know, wouldn't be uncommon for it to get warm even if it wasn't on a <clears throat> an AC circuit. So anyway, yeah, I saw some uh, some pretty inaccurate uh, information online from some people on forums, like really old forums, and even on Facebook. Someone was like. Yeah, you can't do LEDs off of it because it's on AC and uh, the LEDs don't like to flash. Well, they actually don't care about flashing. What they care about is VR, which is the reverse voltage through the diode. Because uh, when it's alternating, it sends current back. And when it sends voltage back, if that exceeds the VR for the LED, the diode, then it will overheat and eventually burn out. That usually happens like right away. Uh, and I believe the individual really small, like, you know, breadboard LEDs, those diodes will, they'll probably go immediately. Um, but the regulator does a good job at keeping the voltage under, you know, it keeps it from spiking over 12 volts because that would blow the incandescent in the back, the original incandescent bulb that was in here. But anyway, this is just running off the stator into a regulator and the right to here. Let me show you. All of these LEDs are just hooked up in parallel. I mean, they're all running off of one singular ground, and all the hots are tied into the one hot lead that was coming from the uh, th that supplied the original headlight. I didn't do anything except for just hook all the grounds up to the ground that was there, and the reds or uh, the positives to the positive that was there. And you saw how bright it was. Um, they didn't get hot. Um, also another fun fact about LEDs, if they're, if the actual fixture itself, they, this actual, if these LEDs themselves are wired together in series, which they usually are, the LEDs that are wired in series actually split the reverse voltage through each diode. So if you're getting one volt of reverse voltage it's actually going to be split and i believe these there's 14 leds in there so it actually be one fourteenth of a volt going through each one um if that was if that was the case i don't know the reverse voltage of this because i just plugged them in and it worked um these are really bright these were like 12 bucks for a two pack um originally i had this light on it which funny thing is this little amazon chinese light um, it's pretty dim because I haven't actually this one I do have a battery and a regulator rectifier this is the Chinese pitter that I kind of converted into a sumo a little mini a mini supermoto with eBay wheels and yeah the switch is kind of broke on here kind of but this actually has a strobe light for some reason but I think this battery is actually dying so but anyway that's not really that bright. Uh, maybe I'll throw in a picture of that light on the XR400. And uh, yeah, that didn't blow up or anything, so I put one of these on there and I was like, whoa. The issue with the stock light is it's kind of lower and it really just lights this thing up and then there's a big shadow there. So I was like, yeah, you know what? I got multiple lights. Let me throw these ones on there. And uh, as you saw in that first clip, uh, I got them kind of uh focusing in on like one general area if you know if i need to do so on the trails if i need to see wider view that's why i put these side ones on there so i can make my field of uh, light a lot wider but anyway yeah i just wanted to freaking show a really quick simple down and dirty extremely cheap um led headlight conversion for the uh for the xr 400 no uh no battery no uh, rectifier, um, which rectifier and regulators, it's a combo. This is just the old school regulator with the original stator. Puts out plenty of juice to power all of these LEDs. So, yep, and that's it.